Hello Internet. Welcome to tutorial number 14. Uh, this tutorial is going to be extremely important for those who have watched my previous videos where I create a wireless network and a wired network in NSG 2.1. Um, we know that um, the output of an NS2 file is obtained in trace in NAMM files and it is a pain in the neck to uh, analyze those files using awk um, files and Perl files making an awk and Perl file for every new scenario is just too hectic now for that we have a software that comes to rescue and that software is trace graph which I'm going to illustrate you today. Uh, this software is, ex is extremely uh, easy to operate and versatile and it's going to make life a lot easier. Now in this particular tutorial I'm going to I'm going to show you how to install Tracecraft on Ubuntu 14.14 and in my next tutorial I'm going to illustrate how to use it on trace files to obtain graphs and outputs, meaningful outputs. Um, so let us begin. Alright, uh, to install Tracecraft on your machine in five simple easy steps step number one is download tracecraft the link is in the description also now once you have downloaded tracecraft on your machine it is going to be a zipped file uh, like this tracecraft 202.tar.gz Alright, so once you have downloaded that, we come to step number two. We are going to extract this file by using this command tar xvzf trace graph or tar dot gz. So we write this command in the terminal window where. Uh, that zipped file is located. We need to go to that location and write this command. I've just written the command for the reference purpose. Tracecraft is already installed on my system. Alright, so step number two, we can pause this video and do that. Step number three is to install the dependencies. Uh, now this step is very important in order for Tracecraft to run it needs some extra softwares and libraries so you can copy this uh, from the link in the description and then carefully execute this command you would need admin access to run this command once this is done we move on to step number four so that is how you write it by the way and just press enter okay now the second to the last step is edit the bash rc file we need to add one line we need to add we need to add the libraries of uh, tracecraft into bash rc so we need to add this line towards the end of the file I'll show you how I've done that So I've added it here. Tracecraft bin glnx86. Okay, so once you have added this line into your bash rc file, you need to go to the tracecraft folder.
like this and the last and final step is to run trace graph and if it is installed successfully you will find three windows on the screen one is for graphs the other one is for um, selecting the nodes I'll tell you about this in the coming video and the next one is network information I'm just opening up the trace graph interface I'm not analyzing any output file as of now so we are not seeing any data here so uh, this is just to make sure that trace graph is installed correctly and it is running correctly on the machine uh, I hope this tutorial helped and if it does click on the like subscribe and do not forget to comment and you have a very good day bye bye